Thank you so much. That was amazingly inspiring. And I have to thank our donor panel for giving us some great ideas and allowing us to feel like we can engage these individuals and engage each other in this process of trying to identify the challenges, the solutions, and the way forward. I am so thrilled with the way that the last two days have evolved. Thank you so much for coming and joining us during the 2016 Gender 360 Summit. We've had amazing participation from such a diversity of voices. So many inspiring ideas have emerged about how we engage adolescent girls and boys in achieving gender equality and combating gender-based violence. And we want to particularly thank our youth advocates and youth participants who've done such a great job of keeping us old people on our toes. As the director of the gender department at FHI 360, I am thrilled to have such a phenomenal team who come, who have all come together to make sure that this summit is organized really to the highest quality. They know I have very high standards uh, about the way that this summit should be and should look like. So I'd like to, to thank a few key people who played a tremendously important role in helping organize this event really for the last three to four months we've been working on it. Starting with my team at FHI 360, Elise Young, who is the senior advisor for gender mainstreaming and, and thought leadership. She ha always has a tremendously high level of energy, great ideas, and great commitment to engaging young people. I thanked Emily Brown earlier, who had to leave to attend a wedding, uh, who makes sure that we have a very expertly organized event. Eric Weber, who is our gender department intern, who managed the RSVP list and who gave me literally hourly updates on, on our, our numbers. <laughs> Aham Kays, who took care of the travel and made sure many of our participants arrived safely and had a place to stay when they got here. Helen Albert, Jennifer Linkletter, Rebecca Sewell, who helped manage the various tasks, running around with the microphones, and thank you very much for that. Uh, and Marcy Ramsey, who is a moderator for our GBV services panel. From the, U the Plan USA team, Justin Fugel, Keshet Dovrat, Marsha Odell, Ann Hudak, and two interns who sat at our registration desk, thank you very much, Plan USA. From the Men Engage Alliance, Oswaldo Montoya and Lakshman Belbase. From Social Development Direct, Carla Hawk and Rachel McGrath, who came from London. And USAID, I want to particularly thank Deanna Prieto. Is she here still? Yay, Deanna. <laughs> Deanna was absolutely fabulous and very, in fact, instrumental, the instrument that helped put the uh, U.S. government panel together and made sure that all ran smoothly. Thank you very much, Deanna. Thank you to our speakers, moderators, table facilitators, and those of you who took time to travel here from long distances and short distances, spent the day with us asking questions. Uh, what should you expect next from us to come out of this summit? We're going to be creating a highlights video, so we will get that up probably in about a month or, or a month and a half. Uh, we'll have full video files, pictures of, of the whole summit on our gender360summit.org website, and you can visit that website now. You'll see all of our past summit uh, information you can access there. We'll have a Storify, which basically gathers all of the social media uh, that came out of this event. We'll put it all in one place, and you can see that uh, also on uh, FHI360 
org as well as the gender360summit.org. And we will be putting together a short document that will highlight many of the challenges, solutions, and recommendations that came out of the summit. Finally, we would really love if you could do a very short evaluation for us. Uh, there's, I think, in all, on all, all of your tables, you still have baskets with little pieces of paper. If you could write one thing that you really liked about the summit and one recommendation for what we can do better or differently next time, we appreciate your feedback. Finally, travel safely back home, and we look forward to continuing this conversation with many of you. Thank you again. just wanted to make say one uh, last thing. She doesn't usually get a lot of recognition, um, but we wanted to take a moment to just lift up Andrea Bertone, who I must say, and I've worked with a lot of social justice uh, folks over the years. She is one of the strongest uh, fighters for gender equality, female empowerment, social inclusion, and social justice who I've known. Will you please give her a round of applause? Thank you all so much.